The strong smell of sewage permeates the air around you. Welcome back to Let's Play DDO Permadeath. You hear human voices up ahead. So I'm cleaning up quest chains that I started at level 5. So I finished catacombs, now I'm finishing waterworks. So as I mentioned, I took level 6 before the previous video. But I didn't really have time in that video to talk through the level 6 stuff. So I took power attack as my feat at uh, level 6. I hadn't necessarily been intending to take it so early, but I'm getting a lot of plus hit bonuses from my enhancements now, so I figure I can probably afford it by now. And most of the other changes were in weapons. So I had this rather nice uh, poison hand axe, which I'm now using as an offhand weapon. First time I've used a hand axe, I haven't got any character. And I also had this uh, Acid Warhammer that I picked up ages ago. It's been sitting in the bank. Which is now my main bludgeoning weapon. And this rather nice uh, Everbright Axe, which will be useful for uh, beating on oozes. So quite an upgrade to weapons, and power attacks a big damage upgrade. Uh, no real changes to equipment otherwise though. And I'm certainly doing some serious damage to Where'd that guy come from? Nice. I'm cutting through the users now. The smell of rotten flesh pours from the other side of the door ahead. I think this will be the uh, this will be the highest level that I've run through the waterworks probably, and it might be the highest level I've done this next quest. I usually do them at level five. But since I've cut the XP required to level up at low levels, uh, it's hard to fit all the level three quests in if I do these at level five. So I have changed my usual approach. That said, the next quest will still be quite tough.
This ooze fight at the start in particular catches a lot of people out on Elite. Should be easy with the weapons I've got now. That said, you see on Elite they've got a lot more hit points. Alright, uses respawn here as well. Another thing that catches people out sometimes. At lower levels it's certainly possible to get cut to pieces fighting the users in this corridor. Yeah, no question, my damage is a lot heavier on this guy now. Dwarven Axe in hand. Have a much better offhand weapon and power attack on. I guess I must be doing around 6 or 7 points of damage more per swing now. Ladder problems. Gentlemen in here do like throwing Nyaks. So care is required. Don't dare go into the line of fire of the shaman, of course. Mm. And there's no way the shaman can do me enough damage to take me out in one with the number of hit points I've got, of course. That's the good news. 
Oh, I also took favorite enemy giant, of course, at level six. I forgot that. Sweet. Action point from the optional. Alright. Now for the main event. But I'd make some progress down the uh, acid corridor there while I had the the um, the what you call it the uh, body feeder hit points on. Used a uh, randomly found potion of uh, protection from acid there. A good time to use it. Those traps do do a lot of damage, but with uh, protection on and a good reflex save, it wasn't too dangerous. Actually, that's no good. No, I can't go down there. I'm solo. Right. Playing through this one at a good pace. Now yeah, for the for the other really dangerous bit. The uh, casters in here with Nyx are the main risk. I have a good reflex save, and they shouldn't be able to take me out in one. Good range damage, I guess, helps too. going on out there. The casters directly above will drop off occasionally as well. So you have to pay attention. Wow, this is awkward. They supercharge these shaman. They're attacking in really quick succession. There's no hesitation at all. attacking really fast. Glad I've got a lot of hit points on this guy. 
see a lot of people get one-shotted by these shaman. I'm having to face a lot of hits here. Wow, what am I doing with this guy? I suppose I don't have much choice but to uh, hit him from range. Snagged on the barrel. Wow, that was odd. I've never seen them attack so fast. Usually the risk there is that one drops off and then has a much clearer line of shot at you. There was no question of that guy dropping off, he was attacking so fast he couldn't move. Okay, the next fight is also very dangerous. If the uh, named is in. It's pretty uh, benign if the named isn't in, although this uh, flying water here makes it hard to retreat. So if you're low on hit points, it's a bit of a death trap. I think this guy has enough hit points and AC that it's not a big deal. Unless the name is in, in which case it gets fun. Sufficiently so... that I think I will drink a few potions here. Bit of crowd control, spin them out. Ha. Yes. Name's not here. Yes, without the name, it's purely a matter of having the hit points to stomach the fight there. I guess my search is not high enough for the trap box. Alright, not shrining then. Certainly not running through that gauntlet of poison traps. Alright. This fight is down this shaft would be deadly. You see pipes intersecting it that might help break your fall. This fight is also tricky. Best not to fall in. Damn it, lagged out there. 
Luckily I got the uh, shaman first. Wow, I must have liked that pretty bad. I still had filler fall on. Still didn't make the jump. Final shaman is down the far end. the shaman got better or if I'm getting lazy. I seem to have been hit by far more lightning bolts on this guy than I normally do. It hasn't really mattered since I've got a good reflex save and plenty of hit points. You seem to have been playing very clumsily. I don't normally get hit so much on the melee guy. Okay, that's Ranzak. Alright, just the final fight. This one is relatively safe, just providing its plate cautiously. Recognizable letters among the scratches on the wall. They read Chief Jitix Room. Pressing over 100 there. Alright, here comes the real trouble. That's much more like it.
All right, pretty nice XP. I tend to randomly open one or two doors in this quest just to mark the areas I've already searched. It seems like a good way of marking territory as any. Alright, I always prefer going this way first, this side's the easier side. Stream's nasty at lower levels. I should manage it fine here. Yep. Well, I was spotting the trap at least. But not finding the trap boxes. Oh well, hopefully that's not the way that uh, the uh, the bed is. I do continue to max out my uh, search as I level up, so it's clearly just a lack of equipment. So, talking of skill points... I yeah, continue to max out search. I've started putting two points per level into UMD, so plus one uh, skill point into UMD per level. Putting plus one into disable per level, of course, costing me two points. And concentration is fully caught up now. It only needs one point per level. Any character with um, with fewer hit points, I'd be playing that much more cautiously. But with the stone skin on and uh, sky hit points, I'm not worried. Then dies again. That guy never gets any luck. 
You can't skip over the scorpions, they're not uh, they're not unique for the monster manual. They don't need the XP. And they are kind of a tough fight. You hear the cold scraping of bones against brick. That's quite a group over there. <laughs> Having found Van. I won't need to go past the, the nasty blade trap, which is very good news. I can just worry about clearing stuff and getting the uh, named enemies. Yeah, uh, mistake people often make in here is waking up the uh, being spotted by the uh, kobold down the hall who uh, let out the ogre. It's very easy to do that and not realise that you've done it and uh, have them come up behind you. Or people in a party get separated and uh, die facing the ogre on their own. Right, they're not coming, so... I can proceed. A shamanic looking kobold shrieks nonsense at you beside a crude altar to his god. Okay. Nope, plus one healer's kits are so useful even I refuse to pick them up. Alright, I will try and for, for some getting some hit points back. No need to uh, sit around wasting one charges. Backing up to uh, get my trip and uh, stunning blow back. Alright, good.
Nice, managed to get the optional. Alright, here we go. Cruel implements of torture are scattered around this room. Right, nice. Okay, that was some pretty good XP. And uh, done as safely as I could. Part two went well, part one was pretty risky. I don't know what was up with those shaman, but they were supercharged, I think. Okay, I will clear down the side of the... Well, actually I'm going to go through the whole waterworks to hand it in, so... I will make one more pass for rares, and then the chain will be done. With all the uh, loot I'm getting, I'll have to do uh, some more crafting, I think. I should certainly be able to craft a uh, better open lock item if I get enough ingredients. Certainly there's plenty of equipment I need right now. I clearly need a better search item. Uh, I'm missing quite a few traps for not having that. Still using the troubleshoot on Troubleshooters goggles from Corthos at the moment. I suppose I should go check on the Rusty. Let's, um... Well, actually, do I have enough, uh... Do I have a Wisdom item? Or Potion? Yes, I don't. Alright, let's not do that then. I must have made another two action points there. In fact, I'm halfway to level 7 already. That part of the waterworks is certainly lucrative.
I should get my next level of whirling blades, I think, with the uh, action points. This is another plus one to hit. Uh, helpful to offset the penalty of the power attack. So even with power attack on, I seem to have a base plus nine to hit at the moment. Which I think is very respectable for doing um, level four stuff, even if on elite. A putrid stench comes from the other side of the door. Nope, just kobolds. Not going to waste time on those. That was a pretty fast run, actually, of the uh, second half of Waterwax. Having the extra level helps, of course. I didn't normally do it at level 6. And I guess being melee, you do pretty much just have to charge stuff. Doesn't have the tactics of doing it on a wizard. here. Well, that's the five or six rares that I'm able to get. That's not so bad. I also need to uh, go buy my medium ingredients. Sorry, my medium collectibles back. I am low on inventory space, clearly. Lots of stuff here, little of it useful. Tempting to grab that for the augment slot, but even at this level I'll soon have a uh, battle chain I would expect so I think it will be obsolete too fast to be worth having alright let's go protection that's potentially useful at least not likely to actually be useful but yeah, worth a try alright just the uh, chain reward to collect Uh, 
And Wizardry 2 isn't bad. Yeah, I'll take that for now. Actually, I must have an empty... No, I don't have an empty spell slot. Alright. I will have another empty spell slot soon, and I might start to need the buffs. Yeah, I guess that's as good as anything. Don't know if I'll actually use it, but... It may be worth having. Alright, well... Uh, I'm done for this video. Thanks for watching.